gonna show you how to plug your camper into shore power. You're gonna need a few things. This is a 30 amp to 15 amp plug adapter. You're also gonna need an extension cord and somewhere to plug it into, whether that's in your garage, a campsite, or a generator. So this here is a directional plug. You're gonna to wanna to make sure uh, that you line it up. So this goes right in, give it a little twist and snug it down. This one in particular has a ring to secure it. Then you're gonna to wanna to plug it into your extension cord. And to check that you have power, I do two things. First, there's a light on this adapter and you can kind of check and see that it's reflecting off of your hand. On this model, there also is one on the lid of the plug and here I see that the light is on. So we're all good to go, we have power and we're ready to roll. Once you're plugged into shore power, there's a few things to check. This is where your circuit breakers and fuses are located. You wanna make sure that all of your circuit breakers are in the on position. In this camper, the lights indicate that the power is on and going to them. Uh, you'll also want to make sure that your 120 volt plug, which will only work when you're plugged into shore power, uh, is on. There's a little green indicator light there. You can test and reset. Just make sure that's all working. The other thing that'll happen is you'll see your uh, bolts coming in jump up. That's a good thing. That means that power is coming into your camper. The last thing that's important to note is that if you want your shore power, your connection to shore power to charge your battery, you'll need to make sure that this kill switch is in the out position. So if it's in, it's not going to give your battery a charge. You want to make sure it's out and then you'll get power flowing in and charging up your battery.